Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. We're back here in Lake Hylia. We've just uh, finished up the Water Temple and gotten our new fire arrows, as you can see over there on C-Left. Um, but there's one other thing that we could actually do around here. I probably should have done this at the end of the last video, but... Um, well, I was worn out from the Water Temple and actually kind of forgot, so... Well, there you go. Uh, you want a long shot up here to the tree, stand out on the branch. You can see there's a Sculptula right here at the top, and take its token. So there we go, uh, we're going to ignore Navi's useless information and head back to the Temple of Time. We're actually going to be going back into childhood relatively soon um, for plot type events, so um, we're getting to a somewhat interesting stage in the game, but uh, for now we're just going to head back to the Temple of Time and we're actually going to be going to Kakariko Village. Um, the map I think has been pointing me there for a little while, I'm not sure. Um, but I think if we check it out now, yeah, you can see Kakariko Village is blinking. Um, we've also got these two over here, Gerudo Valley and Gerudo's Fortress, which we're going to be doing something with somewhat soon, but um, we're going to head to Kakariko first to take care of all that stuff. So, uh, that's where we're going. Alright, so let's go in to Kakariko Village. Looks like you're coming around. Link, a terrible thing has happened. The evil shadow spirit has been released. Impa, the leader of the Kakariko village, had sealed the evil shadow spirit in the bottom of the well. But the force of the evil spirit got so strong, the seal of the well broke, and it escaped into the world. I believe Impa has gone to the shadow temple to seal it again, but she will be in danger without any help. Link, Impa is one of the six sages. Destroy the evil shadow spirit and save Impa. There is an entrance to the shadow temple beneath the graveyard behind this village. The only thing I can do for you is teach you the melody that will lead you to the shadow temple. This is the melody that will draw you into the infinite darkness that absorbs even time. Listen to this, the nocturne of shadow. learned the Nocturne of Shadow. Let me take care of the village. I'm counting on you, Link. And there he goes. It's the first time he's really been that upfront with us, you know? Impa is one of the six sages. Like, why couldn't he tell us that about the other ones? But 
Well, whatever. So yeah, we now have our new little uh, storyline to take care of here. Kakariko Village has been attacked, but as you can see, the fire really didn't do anything. <laughs> All the buildings are still around, so I guess that was just mostly for show. But um, this evil beast thing has broken out of the bottom of the well here. And uh, we need to go to the Shadow Temple to save Impa and seal the thing up again. So I think that sounds like a pretty good idea. Let's see what Navi has to say. That monster it came out of the well in the village. Let's go check out the well. Well, yeah, we are going to check out the well, but we actually can't really do anything about that yet. And you'll see why in a little bit. But um, for now, I'm actually going to head back here in the graveyard because there is a piece of heart that we can pick up. And now that we have gotten a new equipment upgrade, namely the long shot. So what we're going to do may seem a little bit familiar to you, and that's because we have actually done this before. Uh, we're going to head over here to this grave, pull it back, and then head on in. And those of you with a good memory will realize this is Dompe's grave, where we did the race before. Uh, now that we have the long shot, we actually have a new goal. We want to get under one minute on the race. And I almost done that before, but there's kind of a uh, shortcut you can take with it that'll pretty much guarantee you get it. So uh, we're going to have to race this guy once again. Um, again, just make sure to be quick. Try to avoid the flames if you can. Hopefully this one will go better than the last one did. But um, I wouldn't count on it, so... <laughs> Yep, so he takes exactly the same path. I mean, it literally is the same race. You just have to beat it within a minute. Um, I don't know if this is actually really possible to do without the long shot. I mean, I came pretty close, I think. I was just like a couple seconds over a minute, so... Um, I think it is probably doable, but um, with the long shot, you pretty much guarantee it, so... Oh. Okay, I wasn't quite expecting that corner there. And there we get hit by the fire. Awesome. Um, it doesn't really matter too much as long as you just make sort of decent time through here. So, uh, like I said, the long shot really uh, helps out quite a bit. Wow, I'm surprised I didn't get hit there. Yeah, so once you get here, you want to stop and pull out the long shot and look at this torch. I think. Oh yeah, there it goes. And once you do that, as you can see, we get in with just a few seconds to spare. But, you know, I took quite a bit of time there and I still had a couple seconds, so that's fine. Time of the trace is 58 seconds. You're back, young man. Was the present I gave to you fun and useful? Sure was. And then, as you can see, he leaves us a piece of heart behind. So, uh, make sure to pick that up. That's also going to increase our life to 17. So, we're definitely making good progress. And, of course, if you didn't learn the Song of Storms the first time, you could go do that now. But, I don't know why you wouldn't the first time. Either way, um, now we're back out here, um, so let's head back out into Kakariko Village, and uh, now it is pretty much time to head back into childhood. So um, I'm going to play the Prelude of Light, and we will go do that. Alright, so here we are back in the Temple of Time, so let's head back to the Master Swords pedestal. And there's also something kind of interesting I found out about that you can do with this. Um, if you want, you can actually have like alternate music playing while you're doing this whole uh, little scene here. Um, so if you play something cool, like the Bolero of Fire is good, yeah, it probably needs to be something long. I guess if you made it something short, you could have this being done in silence, but then immediately say no and then drop the sword. And so you get the rest of the Bolero of Fire tune coming out, so <laughs> that's kind of neat. You can do it with various... Uh, the Warp songs pretty much work the best. I haven't really tried it with anything else, but... Um, yeah, so, you know, I just always thought that was kind of cool if you're tired of hearing the same old theme being played. But... Okay, so now let's um, get out of here since we're a kid again, and we're going to actually head back to Kakariko. Now that we know the uh, Nocturne of Shadow, actually, that pretty much gives us a warp straight to Kakariko, so uh, we won't have to use the Prelude of Light to get there anymore, which is definitely nice. And as you can see, we're just going to warp straight to the graveyard. It's kind of cool seeing it there. I guess I could have done it inside the Temple of Time. I guess I didn't think about that, but <laughs> whatever. I uh, got a gossip stone back here. I'm kind of curious as to what this one says, actually. So we should, yeah, we still have the Mask of Truth. So I guess we can see what it says. Nope, oh, come on, talk to it. There it goes. Uh, overheard this. They say that there is a secret near a tree in Kakariko Village. Oh uh, yeah, I have actually been to that one before. I think you just get rupees for it. It's like 200, I believe. But it is a pretty cool little room. So 
Oh, I mean, I might actually show it, because the next thing left to do is a, a little mini dungeon that's going to... It won't take too long, but I'd rather not have, like, five minutes to do it, or thereabouts, you know? So, um, I, I guess it couldn't hurt to kill a little bit of time before we do that. Uh, well, we do actually have uh, one more thing to do first before we can go in, so I guess we could take care of that, and then maybe we'll goof around if there's still a little time left. So we went ahead into the windmill, and this kind of brings back something, uh, remember when we first learned the Song of Storms, he said some kid with an ocarina came in seven years ago and played that song for him and messed up the well. So now we're sort of going to complete that. Um, that's kind of the whole, like, time paradox thing I was talking about before. It's like the kid who plays the ocarina is us for him, you know? So it's like we hadn't done that yet in the future, but now we're doing it, so it's okay. It's like, I don't know how all that works, but... Anyway, the speeds up the windmill, and uh, the song gets sort of transposed a little bit. Um, I think it, it, it originally is in D minor, and it gets transposed to F minor, I want to say. So, yeah, it gets a couple whole steps up. But, uh, for those of you who know anything what I'm talking about. But <laughs> anyway, once we speed up the windmill, it'll sort of drain the water, and you get this thing going really quickly. Let's talk to the guy again. Go around, go around, go around. What? It's going way too fast. Ah, yep. So he's not quite angry at us yet, but I guess, you know, it takes seven years to sort of fester that hatred, I don't know, but... Uh, anyway, we need to be heading back... somehow. <laughs> Whoa, okay, there we go. That's always really hard to do. Eh, right. yeah, we only got a little bit of time, so I guess we might as well go ahead and see what that whole secret thing is about. So, uh, if we, uh, this is pretty much where we're going next. Remember, we needed to check out the well, where now we're gonna be able to do it as a kid. And, uh, you'll see why we had to do it as a kid once we get into it, but, uh, for now we're gonna head over to this little tree here, and, uh, there's a secret that we can take care of. I don't know, is this here as a kid? It might just be an adult, I have no idea. My little controller isn't vibrating, so... Hey, there it is. Alright, it's really far out. I didn't think it was that far. Okay, so we can, uh, drop on down, and when we do that, we get in this little room with a couple of free deads. Um, if you want, it might be a good idea to use the Sun Song to freeze them, but I don't really care. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and take care of these guys. Yeah, 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 do your thing. Oh, he's gonna eat me. Ah, oh god. <laughs> yeah, that's what the Reedheads do if they get their attacks off on you. Oh man, come on, seriously? He's like, just kill the thing. <laughs> Well, there we go. They can also freeze you in mid-air, I think, so doing the jump attack won't help you there. Alright, well, that works. But <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is, this is a pretty neat-looking little room. I like the uh, the whole thing here. It, it looks kind of interesting. I always liked it, but... Um, there's supposed to be a chest, I think, but you might need to do something else. I don't really remember. But anyway, yeah, this is a pretty cool little room, so... Um, just kind of wanted to show that a little bit before we end it, but um, let's go ahead and head back on to Kakariko Village, and uh, next time we are going to head into the bottom of the well, which is right over here, and uh, see what kind of cool stuff lies inside. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.